Hi, I'm Kenny Moran from Mobile Sessions, and today I am going to be going over some really cool stuff from Merging Technologies, the Anubis, as they call it, or Anubis, as we like to say it on this side of the, uh, the ocean. Um, as you can see right here, it's really cool. It's not very big, like smaller than my hand, um, smaller than my iMac, which is I'm, my iMac, smaller than my Mac Mini, which is what I'm running it on right now. And I'm going to show you some really cool features of what they call their music mission. So I'm just going to hit the uh, logo here. When they turn on, you can see that um, you can select what they call missions. And so if you tap on the mission, I'm in the music mission. It used to just be the monitor mission. It's completely software updatable. So they're adding and, and changing features all the time. And one of the really cool things about this company is that they actually listen to the suggestions. So if you have something that you're like, hey, I'm using this, reach out to them through email. You know, they really do pay attention um, to what their users are doing. So I'm going to uh, come out of there. It's going to say, please wait while it um, kind of just makes sure that it's actually in the correct mission. And as soon as it comes up, You'll notice we have the four inputs, microphone one, microphone two, line in one, line in two. Um, these are all configurable. So mic one could actually be line in or instrument in and uh, same with mic two. And then the line in could be line in or instrument in. And there's two instrument ports right here on the front um, with little logos on them. So you'll know you can put a guitar there or a bass there. Um, and then as you look right beside it, we have something called uh, reverb, dynamics, DAW, drums, and look at this. Since it's touchscreen, I can just scroll this over and you can see I have drums, bass, keys, aux 4, aux 5, and, uh, and then what I could be potentially listening to, QMix 1, QMix 2, QMix 3, 4, 5, and that's the talkback. So just... Uh, you just saw something really quickly. If you tap on any one of these tabs, a sub uh, menu will come up and say, hey, do you want to go to that queue where you can go and create a queue mix? We're, we'll look at that in, in a minute. But I'm going to go back here and say, hey, take a look. When I hit the mix, this is actually what we're going to be controlling. And we're doing this right from the front of the Anubis. So I can look at the mixer, the reverb, dynamics, any one of the sends an alternate mixer, any one of the cues, and so on and so forth. Now, here's what's really cool since we do have our screen going over here. When you load in the software, you'll notice right at the top of your screen, you have something, it looks like just a, um, you know, a green uh, medical sign. <laughs> so green for green piece, I guess. So we open this up and right off the bat, it tells us, hey, we are connected and talking to the computer. If it wasn't connected and talking to the computer, you would literally just double click the icon and it would connect on its own. Um, it tells you here's what you're using for Ethernet. It tells you the latency is one millisecond and we're running at 44.1. Very straightforward. Here's one of the coolest features ever. Double click that. It'll automatically open up your default browser. In this case, it's Chrome. Uh, which they recommend, even though I'm running on a running on a Mac, uh, it could be Safari or you know uh, Google or or whatever else you could be using. Automatically, this is showing me exactly what the uh, Anubis is showing me on its front screen. The only difference is, is I get the entire thing to look at. So we can see, hey, I have mic one set, and you can see me talking. There it is. You can see that some is going to the reverb, although it's probably fairly low. And then you can see all the other multiple uh, inputs that come in. And then you can see I have, this is kind of like your output section, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5. Obviously, my mic is going to all those cues. And then here is your, your master output uh, level. And so if I was to just, you know, look at the front of the Anubis for a second. We have the logo, which brings you to settings and things like that. But this is essentially output one, or let's just say speaker A, and then that could be speaker B, 
then all of a sudden that's Qmix1, you notice that things changed here, and then we go over here, Qmix2, you see things that change there. We have the talkback microphone, if you press that you'll notice it's flashing at you so you know that the talkback is live and it's automatically going to the cues. And then we could also see that um, any one of the outputs we're listening to, there's a hard mute and that really does kill it. And if you look at the screen, you'll notice that there's no level going out, right? If I unmute it again, corresponding on the computer, you can see that you can see the level. So really, really easy to get around. All right, next video, I'm going to get into how we can set up these routings and, uh, and use it with logic.